Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about variable scope in python programming so guys in python we can declare variables in three different scopes so these are local scope global scope and a non local scope so we will check all these scopes one by one with the help of examples so first of all what are local variables so when we declare the variables inside a function these variables will have a local scope that is within the function only we cannot access them outside the function so let us check this with the help of examples now over here so let's say we have a function over here by using the def keyword we define the function that is add and then after the open and close parenthesis we have a colon over here and let's say we have two variables that is a it is equal to 10 and then we have b it is equal to 20 and then we just want to print the sum of these two numbers so we will simply do print of a plus b over here and then we can simply call this function by using the function name that is add followed by open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 30 that is a sum of 10 and 20 is getting displayed now guys let us say i want to access these variables that is a and b which is defined in this function that is add so can we do that from outside this function that we have defined so let us check that so let us say i want to print the value of a over here so when we provide print followed by the variable name that is a so let me just save this file and try running this code to see what happens so as you can see we are getting some error name error name a is not defined so guys because we have defined the variables that is a and b inside the function that is add we can only access them within this function and not outside of this function and that is what we call it as a local scope now if the same thing that is print a if we just remove from here and we print over here that is within the function and then we need to call that function so that the control flow goes inside that function and print both these statements now this time we are accessing the value of a from within that function so we should be able to access that variable so let me just save this file and try running this This code now so as you can see we are not getting any error first of all we are printing the value of a that is 10 as you can see 10 is getting displayed and then print a plus b so 30 is getting displayed which is the sum of those two variables so guys this is the local scope which means the variable that is defined within the function can only be accessed from that function itself now guys let us move to another scope as you can see we have global variables as well so a variable declared outside of the function or in a global scope is known as a global variable so this means that a global variable can be accessed inside or outside of a function so what this means so basically let's say when we have this a is equal to 10 outside of this function so i'll just remove this line of code over here and before this function is defined we assign the variable that is a so when we use a particular variable outside of this function this variable is called as a global variable so this variable can be used from within the function also and outside of the function also so we have the same function that is add over here and then b value it is equal to 20 so we have the print and then what i will do is i will say inside function so that we can identify that this statement is from within the function itself so inside function and then we will print the value of a and then print a plus b that is the sum of these two numbers will be displayed over here and then what i will do is i will again copy this line of code and paste this over here and then i'll say outside function so we have outside function over here so first of all this line of code that is outside function and then the value of a will get printed and then add will be called and then what will happen is inside function and value of a will be printed and then a plus b will be get printed over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now as you can see outside function the value is 10 since we have provided the global variable over here and from within that function itself we can access the value of a again and that is what we are getting inside function it is equal to 10 and then 30 is the sum of these two numbers that is a plus b so guys this is the way that we can use the global variables so in case you want to use the same variable in the multiple functions in the same program you can define that variable as a global variable which is also called as a global scope now guys moving to another scope over here that is the non local variables so non local variables are used in nested functions whose local scope is not defined which means that the variable can be neither in the local nor
or the global scope. So guys, let us check this with the help of examples now over here. So in this case, in order to use the non-local scope, we will have to use the nested function. So I'll just remove all these lines of code over here. And what we will do is let's say inside this function that is add, which is the outer function, I'll just name it as the outer over here so that it becomes little easy in order to identify the functions. So let's say we have the variable a for which the value is 10 over here. Now let's say we have a nested function which means a function that is present inside another function is called a nested function and we'll name this function as the inner so that we can identify that this is the inner function. Now what we can do is we can have the variable once again that is a over here but this time we will be using the non-local keyword. So as you can see there is a keyword called non-local which we can use in order to assign a value to the variable and this also identifies that this variable is a non-local variable. Now let's say we assign some other value over here to a so let's say a it is equal to 20 in this case and what we will do is let's say we want to print this value of a now how we will print this is we will say inner and then followed by colon and then we will say a so this means that we are printing the value of a from the inner function by using this label and then we will come out of this function and what we will do is we will be in the outer function right now so currently we are in the outer function and we will simply call this inner function so we can simply call the inner function over here and then after that let's say we want to print this value of a once again so i'll just copy this line and then paste this over here over here i'll just put the label as outer so guys this is the program that we have written we just have the outer function over here we have the variable that is 10 and then we have the inner function inside this we have defined the non-local variable that is a and then a is being assigned the value of 20 again we are printing the value of a over here by using the inner label and then we are calling this inner function from the outer function itself and then we are printing the value of a by using the outer label over here now the last thing that we have to do is we have to call this outer function because we have not called this yet so over here we will say outer and then we have this open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see inner is being assigned the value as 20 and that is what we had done over here so when inner was called over here the non-local variable that is a it makes the value as 20 and then this inner it is equal to 20 is getting displayed now guys what is happening is when we are using this non-local keyword this means that we are telling python that this variable needs to be seen as a non-local variable which means it is equal to this variable as well so when we are doing a is equal to 20 so this value value of a will become 20 and this value of a will also become 20 over here and that is why for this inner we are getting 20 and for outer also if you see on the second line the value is 20 right now so this assignment of a is equal to 20 is being treated as a non-local assignment and the values of the variable a wherever it is being assigned will be changed to the value that is 20 in this case so guys this is very important concept whenever we are using the non-local variable what if we simply have the local variable and we don't define this in this way so let's say i'll just comment out this line of code over here that is non-local a now this time a's value that is 20 right now is being treated as a local variable inside the inner function and outside the inner function that is in the outer function the a's value is currently 10 over here so let us check what will be the output i'll just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see inner it is equal to 20 and right now outer it becomes 10 that's because we have not used the non-local keyword over here within the nested function that is the inner function that we had defined so guys this is very important concept if you want to change the values of all the variables that is in the outer function as well as in the inner function we can use the non-local keyword while assigning the value to the variable and then all the values for that variable will be updated so guys this is the functionality of the non-local variable and i hope you have understood the functionalities of the different variable scopes in python that is local variables global variables and non-local variables and based on your requirements you can use them accordingly so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is global keyword in python programming so stay tuned